Hey everyone, welcome back. We're playing some Seraphine Ophelia today. Uh, I got a request last night to play this deck, and so I happily obliged. It totally wasn't like I wanted any excuse to play Seraphine anyway, of course. And this is a deck I saw Blue God playing a while ago. Uh, I don't know specifically what made me catch it. I usually like just, I don't even watch a ton of Twitch streams for Legends of Terra, but I'll just click around a few streams to see what decks people are playing. And I saw this, and I think he was doing pretty well with it, and so I grabbed it up, and so. It's a Pursuit of Perfection slash Glorious Evolution list. It's an interesting way to finish it. I haven't had a ton of success with this list compared to um, stuff like the Victor Ezreal Seraphine or the Burblefish list with Glorious Evolution. But it is definitely a fun archetype. I love Aphelios. And I think Targon offers a lot of interesting cards with Seraphine. I love um, Guiding Touch and Super Cool Star Chart. So let's get into it and see how it goes. I always love playing this deck type, even if I'm not fantastic with it. So. Hopefully we'll get some more practice on it and see how it does. We have two backlay bars, one Sporting Song Spinner. Uh, I do love Sunburst. Sunburst is a, really, is a really nice addition to the deck as an additional removal, like Hexbliterator. Specifically, I like Sunburst's Silence effect, so you can get rid of things like Viego and stuff. Um, some other curious cards, Forge of Tomorrow and Veiled Temple. I am a little unsure how to maximize my use of these. Forge of Tomorrow I do think is pretty nice. It's kind of like an early value card because it gives you a good unit which sometimes your deck needs uh but also the mana refill is so good when you have so many cheap efficient spells plus the veiled temple um is an interesting way of getting extra mana advantage as well as granting some units power if you need obviously a similar package in our early game as to many other seraphine decks like the forge chief is an interesting one as well to get some mana a uh, spacey catcher i love to get the extra invoke and Ferris Financier to help get an extra 6 cost spell. This is always just like a flexible little pick. Uh, I'll, I always love using that as an extra way to dig for another copy of Sweating Song Spinner. I just love that card in Seraphine's deck, so... Yeah, let's see how it goes. Um, last night I played it, I think, two or three games. Didn't do so hot, but we'll see how it goes. I just don't feel like the deck has a ton of easy ways to win the game. Um, other than, like, Pursuit of Perfection, because... You don't have a ton of good units for... Hmm, I think I'll keep Super Cool Star Trek. I guess we should keep Bar too, huh? Okay, I'll look for removal for Nora. Um, you don't have a ton of units that can push damage very easily, even once you hit Glorious Evolution on board. Like, you don't have many elusive units or anything. That's one of the reasons I like the Bilgewater version with, like, Wiggly Burgle, Burblefish and, um... Captain Shelly. Uh, a Fleet Admiral Shelly. Because, like, our only units in the unit are, like, Ferris Financier, Fan Club President, Mountain Goat. Right, pretty happy to play Mountain Goat here. I'll look around for some other deck lists, potentially. Let's see here. Sorry, I'm opening like the lower master tracker, and I think it cuts off the audio when I do this, but I just want to check something real quick. Okay, so like what I'm looking at, um, yeah, yeah, okay, actually. I think that's actually a very clever idea here. I might go, um, with Acorn. I might put a copy of Acorn in the deck. I think that could be good. Silence of Followers, interesting. Actually, I'm gonna go Moonsilver. I think we could get turn six back to the bar. I think that's pretty good. Uh, anyways, yeah, I might play a copy of Acorn in the deck. I think that's pretty clever. I'll take my block. We have Spacey Sketcher that we can discard a gem to invoke. And then i uh, use a second gem to turn her into a 2-1 so she could block something potentially if we need her to. Also an interesting draw here. Maybe I'll do this first to see what our opponent plays so we can get a little bit more information. Okay, I'll take this attack. Because the Spacey Sketcher would have been absolutely toasted by the Vile Feast here, right? And then we wouldn't be able to threaten an attack. So at least that way we had a chance of hitting the two damage. No way, is it actually a second Moonsilver? That's kind of hilarious, isn't it? Because I don't really want to go Serpent into Nora. Like, Serpent plus Gem seems kind of weak. Into another Vile Feast or a Pokestick. 
So we can just play we can just play back of the bar next turn, yeah? I think that's pretty good. Uh that is a little awkward, it only counts as one. I'll just take this. We can save this for Caustic Riff. Alright, turn five back alley bar. Who knew who knew they buffed back alley bar from six minute to five minute instead of the other way around? <laughs> we didn't have any way to deal with Heimer anyway. Oh gosh, hold on, that's actually a really crazy hit. Well that's one way to finish up the game, huh? I just want to use this as a way to activate a Felios. Um, I don't know if they have too many ways to deal 2 damage incredibly easily. So I was okay with jacking him down a little bit here. Pretty have to take Calibrum here first for sure. That's actually a problem. That means the Pogi Stick now could kill our 4 2, which is a little annoying. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go Crescendum. I'm gonna be, because we, we have Costagriff for the 5-1. Oh heck yeah, that's a high roll too, I didn't even notice that. It's a little annoying. If those dies, probably if we do this. Or if we let this go. I don't want to waste a mystic shot on that, we can kill Nora. This is looking real good here, though. We can end the round. I'll save Calibre in case they hit something off the portals a little bit more threatening. Costagriff, okay. Uh, Glorious Evolution looks nice here. I think it might just be another bar, though, first. Mm, maybe not. We have no board space. So we'll try to get them to attack. Whoa. Oh man, that's such a cool card, by the way. They don't particularly need the lifesteal at this moment, but it's a cool card nonetheless. Take the attack, please, I'm begging. <laughs> I need to use my cards here. Okay, cool. Uh, we're really happy with this attack, I think. Like, extraordinarily happy. I'll take the extra two damage here, rather than losing this guy. And I don't even know if I want to cost a Griff right now. He only kills these two, like, is that doing anything? I don't think there's any reason to do it right now. Sure. I don't think I want to- again, I don't- I don't know if it's worth cost a Griff here. Maybe it is, just get an extra Gravitum, just in case. I guess it pushes a little bit of extra damage next turn, does that matter? Ah, I'm just gonna actually resolve like Glorious Evolution this turn now. Well, we have the time, right? They're not really threatening us with any more damage this turn. They don't have any mana. We might as well get our card down. I don't know how we're winning this though. We can't deal with Heimerdinger. He's just getting so many turrets, like, it's so. 
difficult for us to deal with at a certain point. Heck yeah, okay. I'll blow you back at like bar first. Heck yeah, okay. Those are cards. Seraphine is a really bad play here though, I feel. She dies to like everything. Like next turn, obviously. This turn she can stick, but we have to find something off the top. Well, I guess that's something. For two mana, Seraphine will double it. Okay. I guess we just have the high roll, huh? Sure, that's fine. We still have no way of interacting with Heimerdinger, unfortunately. That extra minute is actually probably a big deal next turn. I don't know. This game felt... I felt very helpless. I'm not sure if I just missed something somewhere. Like, obvious. But, but except for that turn one Thermo... Or turn... Turn... Turn three Thermo onto Nora. We haven't found any other way to deal with Heimerdinger. And it feels kind of bad. <laughs> oh, hold on a second. Look at that. Seraphine coming in clutch. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. What a what a card. I'm, all in. I'm not even going to put damage on Seraphine. I don't even know if it's worth it. Maybe we should, though. Get your put it on two? That seems, that seems so bad. Group shot kills her. I'm just going to throw away this unit. We'll deal with ter next turn when we have to. And this will give us an extra three cards. Okay, okay. Things are starting to turn around now with Seraphine on board. This will double. Oh my gosh, hold on a second. This is actually really fun. I like this. This will kill four things and kill, uh, pop Seraphine's spell shield. I forgot I didn't kill that one. Oh well. Oh wait, that, was that not new? Gotcha. Okay, I don't know why I don't remember playing that first one. Alright. <gasps> Heck yeah! Okay. Okay, now we're talking. So... Just chump luck at this point, right? Still really spooked to put damage on Seraphine. Ah, uh, that's fine. We don't have any cards to our list anyways that really matter here. That kind of gives me the all clear then to just play Skies Descend. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, what the heck? Oh, that's the biggest punish. Oh no. That's so embarrassing. Oh my gosh. I got so greedy. I got so stinging greedy. Why does it cost one less? Why does Heimerdinger have it cost one less? I'm so confused. Wow. I just lost the game. <laughs> no. What the heck? Are you kidding me? That's so brutal. That is so, so brutal. Oh my gosh. Have you ever thrown a game so hard? I'm speechless. I literally don't even know what to say.
Do we even attack? Open attack here? If we develop and they have Ruination, like Glorious Evolution, in Severum to get an Infernum, I guess that's our only way to win the game, though. I guess we have to go for it, right? Ugh, oh, Aphelios' level up animation is so sick, by the way. Brutal. Okay. That aloof traveler is holy smokes. Wow. Okay. You never. This is going very poorly. This is like hilariously bad for me. Oh my gosh. Wait, 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 wait. They don't have any way to get four power, right? For each card I've drawn this game? That has to be a lot. And they only have one fearsome. The buck here. We look ahead. Fifty damage. This is the weirdest game ever. Whoa, my goodness. Turn five back early bar. Into Skies Descend, into Triple Aloof Travelers giving us um, Eberos for 15. Wow. What a game. What an incredible game. If you guys are not chuckling to yourselves at my misfortune turned hilarity, <laughs> I don't know. That was crazy. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. That was hilarious. I was so down in the dumps about throwing that game so hard when I didn't play Skies Descend. I was like, there's literally no way we win this game. But creating Malefic- or the, the Ibero Spear thing. Oh my gosh. That was literally hilarious. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm like, I'm so like, oh my word. I love that. Okay. Let's move on. Let's move on. Noratimo Elise. I like Sunburst, but I think it's a little pricey. So I'll probably pitch these two. Valfeast, Pokestick, Group Shot, kind of makes Dustbringer look pointless, but it is a chump blocker early on. Gives us a Dust Pearl Dust to activate Aphelios. I'll probably end up keeping it. It's a turn one play too. Like if they have Group Shot, I'm not as sad. I just don't want this to die to Valfeast as much. That makes me a little more sad. Also, Rumwitch is probably my favorite card to play with Seraphine on board when she's leveled. Like, I just love that, that feeling of get rid of two junky cards, draw four. Oh, feels so good. We don't really have any interaction to deal with Teemo or Nora, though. Like, we could just go for, like, a 3-mana Thermo next turn if they develop Nora. That feels kind of clunky. And I don't know how worth it is to get rid of Nora. I imagine it's, like, a 3-2-1 split, right? Where are you? That also sucks. Um... So now we could... Oh, yeah, sorry. I don't know why I thought we had an extra mana. We can just 2-mana Thermo. Probably worth it. To stop the Nora portals. Because this deck, we, we really need them to, like, limit portals. If they can start swarming us, um, it feels bad. And like I mentioned, we don't really have any units that can win us the game. Uh, we kind of have to rely on, I guess, creating Captain Pharaohs and Eberos, right? That's right. I do want to go in and put in... Acorn. I'll probably put an Acorn over Forge Chief, to be honest. Forge Chief is fine, but it doesn't do anything. Like... I, I, it, it, it's not resilient. Like, it kind of just dies. And getting the one mana is fine. But I'd almost rather reduce my expensive cards by mana rather than just refill one spell mana. Maybe it's maybe it's kind of irrelevant. Maybe they're similar. 
But I feel like Forge Chief always dies to the same poke spells while also not being elusive. So at least Acorn can stay on the, in the air for a little bit, hopefully, is the idea that I'm going for. I must get out of here. We'll just take this. I'll probably just play Aphelios here. Dust pedal into Aphelios. Or maybe we just pass. Maybe that's better. So then next turn we can start cycling the guns. Okay. So what do we do? What do we do? We can play Ferris Financier going next turn with four five mana. Or do we want to go to next turn with seven mana? Because the Felios will be three. Plus it's gonna be two, that'll be five, so we'll have two leftover mana. I guess we just developed the Ferris Finance here. Oh, there we go. That's a win condition if I've ever seen one. Mystic Shot? So that's also pretty good. I think I'm gonna just Mystic Shot first here. That's actually a clever way to get extra creative units for Nora too. But if they have another Nora, are we sad? Maybe we are. So I'll go with Felios, I suppose. Probably just crescendo them into Calibro. Because if they attack right now, we're fine with blocking this. I don't really care about giving them a Ghastly Band for the moment, I don't think. I'd rather I'd rather kill Nora if they have another Nora. Okay. I am going to take my trade while I can because this is almost certainly dead to a vile feast at some point or another, right? And so I'd rather kill the thing while we can before before our unit's gone for good. Uh, that seems whatever. I see they're where they're going. They're like playing like a bajillion units that are focused on turbo leveling Nora, but I'm not particularly worried about this. No keywords, it's just a 3-2. Like, I don't even know if they'll play many equipments in this deck. Or if it's just a way to, like, cheat out an extra free unit. A uh, created unit. And you can, like, just kill it with Calibron, too. Another Junk Construct. My opponent's looking kind of low on cards. Aftershock's a fantastic draw too. I'm always happy to kill any of their champions. I'm feeling pretty got good about where we're at right now. We have lots of card draw with Rummage, potentially even a, a progress day if we need it later. I'll use my mana here. Kind of make them do something. If they play Nora, we just shoot her. If not, we'll just end the round. Portal Palooza. That seems so risky with us having Calibrum up. Wow, that's fantastic. That's fantastic too. Thankfully, that one dies to. Uh. Costa Griff. And I will take Gravitum. In case they do rip a, a rip a four to Masia next turn, we can put Cost of Griff on stack, stun whatever else comes potentially. This doesn't feel good to attack into right now, so we'll just pass. Dang. Okay. Thank goodness for Cost of Griff. I kind of like Portal Plus, honestly, more than Fortimacia. I know this isn't anywhere near as spooky. Wow, that's actually like... Oh, that's actually hilarious. Oopsies, I did not think of that one, huh?
It's a lot of damage, but I'm gonna take it. We get a much better attack next turn. That's pretty greedy. And now if they give us an action, we can gem Apelios. Dang, so many cool support cards these past few games. Well, we don't have any easy way of killing their stuff right now. So is it worth it to keep Aphelios alive through an open Vile Feast or something? I feel like it is. We have another Vile or Aphelios in hand. So if we actually just play Crescendum, we just level him up and give him the extra HP anyways, right? Good point, good point, good point. Our power deck is cool, but they're playing- oh heck yeah, I love that card. Um, that's actually a really good card with Glorious Evolution. Oh my goodness. That's pretty good. So I probably just want to kill Nora first here before anything else. They have six mana. Hmm, that's pretty bad. If they have a Portal Palooza. And then hit some units. That could put us in a difficult situation. Nice. Okay, this is fine though. That's actually kind of annoying. Um, we're taking some damage, but... I don't want to go to four. I'll, I'll honestly just block with the Felios. I don't want to go into atrocity range for Teemo this turn. <laughs> we have another Aphelios in hand, so that will be fine. And they give us an action so we can just jump him anyway. Oh, but they don't have atrocity anyways. Um, sure. Ooh, that's a card. They they've got they do have some cool cards, but I feel like it's kind of just playing a pile of stuff that creates stuff rather than good cards. <laughs> like like Redeem Project is a good card, Loping Telescope is a good card, but like on their own they just heck yeah, dude. Okay, now Glorious Evolution would be looking really good. I guess you start picking stuff down though, right? Two cards in hand. If they have a vengeance, we just play another Aphelios and sever him. I think we're looking good. I think we're in a pretty good spot here. <laughs> yeah, that's a cool card too. Um, in that case, I'll probably just put it on Aphelios because this won't. This will just trade, and I don't really want that. Gravitum looks good. Infernum. Probably not gonna kill them this turn, so we'll just go defensive, like stun something. Let's see what they find. And they don't have like vengeance or anything, so I don't think they can possibly kill Aphelios here. Ah. Oh. It's actually kind of bad. Hmm. We could rummage and try to find something. We, we, like, we have a copy of Costagriff, a copy of High Note. And a copy of Mystic Shot. That seems like kind of like risky. Three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. I kind of want the lifesteal to be honest.
Maybe this is silly. Maybe maybe I should have taken the risk on rummage, but I feel like that's just too risky. I don't know. Okay, I think we're in a good spot. We're, we're fine, because we have Celestial Trifecta still. And... Okay. Okay, Hexblade is good. No loose is good, so I think we're pretty good here. We'll put this in range to die. Sorry. Wrong turn. Hmm, that's a good card. So I'll probably play Glorious Evolution first, and then Celestial Shift back to next turn. Also, the extra 3 mana, or 2 mana is really good. Okay, we gotta close out this game though, we're kind of slow here. Oh gosh, that's good too. Trifecta? Back alley bar? Just back lay bar plus trifecta, and then just play our cheaper trifecta cards. Hmm, that's pretty good. Serpent? That's interesting. Because we could play Ribbon Dancer. They block the one damage, maybe. I think we'll just go crush and strike. That's kind of a silly play. Oh, Written Stars seems really good here, too. Almost certainly. Written Stars, right? And Great Beyond just wins us the game. Oh my gosh. I forgot we got the mana back. Seraphine, 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 Seraphine. Heck yeah, let's go. Oh, heck yeah. This game is so bonkers. I love this game. Yeah, that's so good. Spin it round, throw it down. If they block, we just augment. Okay, now we're feeling good. I'm honestly going to kill this thing right now, I think. If I if I thought of that, I would have augmented it when we attacked to push a little bit of extra damage, but I didn't think of it at the time. Cause I don't want this to have like a random elusive Poro, right? And like just start cheating out extra damage somehow. Like just kill it, right? We don't really have to spare it. We have other ways to kill more important threats, stun threats. You know what I mean? Hell hell! <laughs> I was gonna say heck yeah, and then I was like, oh, <laughs> and that sounded bad. I didn't mean to sound like that. Um, but, um, I was gonna say, heck yeah, and let's go, and I accidentally combined the two, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Um, I guess we just start here. This seems really good. Heck yeah! If we had, like, Costagriff, we'd just, like, this is actually hilarious. Okay, uh, Grand Knight plus some plus one enemy, I don't think that matters. None of these are really important. I'll get some extra kegs in case we need to shoot something. Nice, let's go, dude. Okay, this is bonkers. Um... We can go here. And here. Mm, no way. Did we just lose the game? Oh my gosh, you're kidding! We got these exploded right here. That sucks so bad. How crazy is that? I wanted to draw cards. We just filled our entire hand and we didn't find a single spell until we burnt a card. <laughs> so we had these exploded right now. That's so funny. Um, well, okay, we got it. Ah, uh, Frostbite seems kind of decent. 
This is actually kind of funny too. We can get an extra faculty barkeep next turn. We need to kill some stuff though. Hmm, there we go. Hmm, maybe it's just trickster. Surfing is so bonkers. This is so fun. Oh my gosh, please don't kill us. Puff caps. Oh my gosh, are you actually going to die to puff caps? I'm actually... Holy smokes, holy smokes, holy smokes, holy smokes. I'm losing this game. I'm losing this game. How do I win this game? I guess that's how. Oh my gosh. That's so crazy. This is so insanely crazy. This is insane. What is this card game? Oh my gosh. My opponent has one card in hand. If they can beat us here, I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> like atrocity? I guess they frostbite. That's so hilarious. Oh my gosh, this game is so weird. Seraphine is so cool, man. Do you know the, um, like, statues that they have? Like, the Riot Games merch store type thing? I got the Seraphine one a while ago when Seraphine was super busted. Even though I didn't even actually play Seraphine all that much back then. Because she was so busted. And I just wasn't playing a ton, a ton of Runeterra. Um, I don't know, I didn't play her a ton. I'm not sure why. Because she's a fun deck. She's exactly the style of deck I like, too. But, I don't know, for whatever reason, like, once I get back into Runeterra, after she was nerfed, I played her a ton. <laughs> I can't tell if our opponents rage quit or they actually have a line. Because we probably just lose if I draw cards here. <laughs> that was one heck of a game, my goodness. Sometimes you just gotta find your own one, cons, you know? Be creative. <laughs> find Captain Pharos. Or find Albus Pharos. Find Parallel Convergence with Glorious Evolution Dissolve. I mean, just easy gaming, you know? It's so, so easy. Cool. Okay, let's do some tinkering. By tinkering, I mean one change. I'll cut Forge Chief. And drop in our good old friend, Acorn, the Hex Technician. I think everything else feels pretty good. Ooh. Okay, this could be a, an awful matchup for us. When Aatrox Vein was at the peak of its powers, this matchup was truly miserable for us. Usually I'd keep a bar, but I need to find cards to help us stabilize in the early game or else we're just going to get run over. I just kept Forge tomorrow because it's a 3-mana blocker, essentially. But this hand looks miserable. Like, truly bad. We didn't find, like, anything. <laughs> like I said, this is a terrible matchup, though. At least it was back in the old day, before Aatrox got nerfed. And Vein. And like, without any interaction available right now, they can just start playing units, and we can't kill them before they're equipped. Then they get equipped, and it makes it even harder for us to kill us. And then it's just gonna be too fa too hard for us to catch up fast. And um, ah, uh, Jeepers! I don't know who it was. Uh, yesterday we were talking about playing Pokemon. I want to play Pokemon at some point too this weekend. I might do like a quote unquote a variety stream where I play like some Magic or some Pokemon or something. I think that might be fun.
Oh, I don't have the surfing skin. Um, the arc light skin. I forgot about that. It's a good card. I I I literally don't even want to play surfing here. She'll just die next turn. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we could play like turn three or tomorrow, turn four Veil Temple. That doesn't feel great. There's a unit at least. Still lurk in this feels really sad if they have the equipment. So I guess Mountain Goat versus Forge tomorrow doesn't particularly matter. We might as well play the Forge. Still, hopefully, hopefully if they don't have the quick attack equipment. That's pretty much what I was scared of, but we're taking so much damage if I don't try to develop here. And they're still, they get so punished if we have like a mystic, well not punished, but like we get out of this situation if we have any type of removal spell. But we do not. Like a cost of griff, gr uh, gr mystic shot, high note, any of those would have been good. I don't even know how I developed this. I probably shouldn't. Okay, cool. Uh, I really appreciate that. It gives us two easy discard targets. Man, no removal. This is really bad. We probably lose the game on this turn if we can't find a card to kill stuff. I guess it's kind of a hope and a prayer at this point. There we go. Challenge is interesting for taking out Vayne. I think it's probably Moon Silver. Get our back of the bar cheaper. I'm not playing Vile Feast right now because I don't want them to just re equip the quick attack equipment, right? It's also a very bad problem. Now a Lyle Feast. If they have catch, we just lose. But at this point, we're so far behind already. <laughs> I guess we can try to kill stuff. Now if they, if they don't pull, they lose their- or no, they won't lose their defector. But it'll go in- it'll go into Mystic Shot range at least. Slash high knot range. Mm, that's pretty good. So now they're fine with pulling, I think. I think they should totally pull an attack with a range grenade defector. Plus they just have a rally next turn. I don't know how we get out of this. We'd have to find like a Hexbliterator off the top. Which I guess is not impossible. I'll block here because it just puts her into Mystic Shot range. Blocking here saves one extra point of damage, but that's not the most important part at the moment. And then next unit is gonna be like this is this is so far lost. I think I don't think we have any chance here. Yeah, then they just they just rally this turn. We don't have enough ways to stabilize. Like they just equip this with the Dark and Harp unit, and this will kill us this turn if we don't block. And the only units we'd have to block are like a Felios. Okay, GG. 
that's, like I said, a tough matchup, and our opening hand was miserable. I'm sure there are things that could have done differently too, but not not the matchup we're looking for. Okay, let's see if we can finish out and win. Hmm. Senna Vagar could be an interesting matchup. I like Aftershock, but I don't think it kills anything, right? So what are you looking for then? I guess Aftershock kills Catalyzer. I feel like it just dies to darkness if it gets buffed up once. Like if they stick Vagar, which we they're probably going to do. He just dies. Okay, there we go. Perfect. I'll pass here. I can just aftershock their catalyzer if they develop catalyzer, and it also gives me because I I don't because I don't want them to play like Ferris Financier. They vile feast and they play catalyzer, then we're kind of sad. Hmm, these would both seem really good. I'll take Shock Blast. I think we need to be a little bit more defensive. Um, because they're going to have lots of control tools too. That went pretty well. I'm a little surprised they just sent Vagar there. We don't have many tools to deal with the Ve other Vagars though. But uh, it's a card. I guess we could kill another Vagar with like Aftershock plus High Note. Mm, that's a little disappointing. I like splitting Slug Spinner there. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this. Puts them both in range of a Costa Griff or the second half of a high note, so. Pretty okay with this. Maybe we can get uh, Aphelios down here. Is that the play? Maybe. I'll probably just take a crescendo here. I don't think we need to worry about removal quite yet. And we can kill Vagar still. Like, they could use two cards, I suppose, with the darkness to kill Felios, and we'll just have to deal with it for now. They're still not throwing enough damage as well if we pass here, so I'll just let them do their thing. Like if they open attack next turn, we just poke a stick and we're fine. Because once once a, once darkness starts getting bumped up, we pretty much lose the game. So I'll try to keep it as low as possible uh, by threatening the threatening to kill him at any given time. Senna might be a bit more of a problem too. I don't know how much we're gonna have to deal with her. Maybe like we can just go like this, I suppose. This feels kind of sad if they have the Mist Call, but I don't really know how to play on that card. Hmm. 
Okay. Oh, that's a good draw. Gross. I hate that card. <laughs> they forgot it was obliterated. <laughs> okay. Uh, that gives us some time then. Do we just kill Senna? Oh, we have a chance? I'm not sure. Son thinks I'm all sparkle, huh? Well, maybe. This is slow speed. So I'll do this now so they can't play it as an open, depending on what they have. Heck yeah. <laughs> That's pretty big. I'll Aftershock now, so we can open with High Note on stack if we need to. I know we're kind of losing some value from Veil Temple, but our opponent's all tapped out, so I'd rather, like, kind of get some time to react next turn. Okay, so now she's leveled, we have... Uh, guiding touch in hand to double. We have time sh time trick to double. Shoot, that's also very good. But I think we're incredibly happy with that. That's a huge investment for them to deal for our, with our two minute champion. We still keep a three three on board, which is so important. These control mirrors, right? Don't have to be sharp to make a point. We could just slam an eight eight, honestly, too, or a five five. I think that's I think that's totally fine to play him there. Our po oh gosh, we totally lose the game though. Oh no, we don't even have it completed anyways. I was gonna say if they have ruination here, I'll absolutely just take my damage here. I think. But that's, that's a lot of damage to get down. Dang, seriously? I guess we're getting punished for not using those cards, huh? Hmm, if they have to start spending all their resources on this, we feel really good. Alright, we'll try this one more time. <laughs> I will absolutely do it now. <laughs> They're tapped out of any more. I'm gonna I'm gonna get my card dry in, I promise. Alright, GG. <laughs> they dealt with our first two Seraphids, but. We got all three, so that was cool. That was a fun matchup, though. Uh, definitely interesting. I think our opponent probably lost the game when they played their Vagar. Um, and into our Hexbladerator. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I knew your name. I looked at it several times so I would remember. I'm sorry. Uh, whoever asked for this deck list yesterday, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I definitely enjoyed the deck. Specifically, uh, I'd love to know what list you were running, what kind of like cards you have as your winning conditions and stuff. I definitely think this deck had a way of finding finding ways to win. Felt kind of strange at first, but got there uh, several times through some pretty creative ways. And obviously Seraphine's just such a value engine. I don't think decks are currently built to deal with her very well. Uh, you saw a lot of times she kind of stuck around pretty pretty decently once she was on board. Uh, so yeah, maybe the meta's just not really expecting Seraphine enough. To, like, what what is a, what is a, like Nora, like that Nora Teemo deck and stuff? A lot of them just didn't have easy ways to deal with Seraphine, so I think she's in a pretty good spot right now, actually. And yeah, if you guys have been playing her, let me know what you think. Have you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time.